Hello, I'm Master Roxas, and welcome to part 5 for Orono's Island of the Sonic F Frontiers Speedrun 80% Advanced Guide and Tutorial for, route, for the Route. Now, you may be thinking this is part 5, and this is the last island in the game, and this has got to be the hardest stuff. No, actually, no, the, the rest of the run's actually pretty chill. Uh, the hardest is yet to come. There's no hit and runs on Oranos that we're aware of that work yet. If it changes, I will make an update. But for the most part, Oranos is pretty much just go from point A to point B and get the stuff as best as we can. Uh, and getting some more purple coins because we're going to be doing our fishing now. If you've been following the route, you should have uh, at least 41 purple coins. For my for my opinion, obviously purple coins are subjective. If you want to get better ones or different uh, different ones that you, as you see fit, feel free. But in the purposes of this, this tutorial, these are just the ones that I get. I did make some purple coin guide videos you can find on my channel for where all purple coins exist on islands if you want to pick your own. Anyway. So starting off, you're going to probably want to get these 10 purple coins right up here. Followed by those. those. You're going to get this. You're going to want to get this dig for this key. And then you're going to come to this red pillar. Kill him however you want. Get the gear. And come up here. And get these purple coins. To get this gear. Make sure to go around the doggos. I like to hit this to get this memory token because we need a couple stray memory tokens and that's one I consider very fast. We're going to get those and we're going to go into Metal Harbor. And as stated in my previous videos, this is not a guide for how to do cyberspace effectively. I don't consider myself very good at cyberspace, so I apologize if I make mistakes. This is just something that you need to practice on your own. I will just do my best to get through it as best as I can. I know there's a mag dash right there. I hate it, and I don't like to do it. So I usually just lose a few seconds here. Okay. And the game gave me the glitch. That's... I ran right through the hang glider. I don't know what causes that, and I didn't react quick enough in time. I did not react quick enough. So, there's your funny haha blooper moment of the tutorial. I will I will say if uh, that ever happens to you in a run, you can react and boost back quick enough and jump and still and save it. I just was not ready for it cuz I didn't expect it to happen. So apologies for the death, I guess. Although I don't really think that one was my fault.
Anyway, so after you survive Metal Harbor, we're gonna go get to the Green Emerald Island next. So you're gonna jump up onto this little thing, and you're gonna trick launch right here towards a rail that you can barely see. Boost on to it, get seven purple coins here. And then you're gonna come to this rail right here, jump onto it, boost and get those, and that's 32 coins you've gotten on Orono so far, very quick. And then we're gonna go up to 4-5. Get that key and the memory tokens. And get these four purple coins. I'll put us at 36 coins got on Ornos, which will put you at 77 total. Four five is a pretty chill level. All right, following four dash five. Let's get up there, right? That to trick launch quicker down here. We're gonna go underneath the little web thing that exists, just like the one on Kronos that we don't see in the run. Try not to hit that. And you can get those coins, but I don't like to get them because they're slow. Because there's other faster ones. So then we're going to go to the Green Emerald Tower. Get this dig. And then you can go for an HSP right here. If you don't get it really quick, though, then I would bail. Like, I bail, I, like, if I don't get it really quick, I generally just bail, because it's a very annoying... I just want to show that it is possible, but I'm not going to... This is more consistent, because that HSP really doesn't save that long. What is going on with my camera? My camera is messing up like crazy right now. What is going on? Hold on. Whoa. That was really weird. That was a new mess up for me. So, there's a very easy stray if you go up right there. Either way, do whatever you want. HSP up, or... Get this, either way. Jump over here, trick launch to get onto this railing right here. And then you can rail jump to get up here quicker to get this key. Get get like at least three of these purple coins. Because now you'll be at 80. Get this dig right here. Do the Air Jordan trick. You know, but don't mess up like me a million times. Why am I messing this up?
I don't know why I'm missing this, but all right. I guess I'm just doing it too late. Hold on. There we go. Yep, I'm just doing it too late because I'm bad. Anyway, yeah, you just do it there. It's actually easy to do. If you're not bad at the game, like me, then... You want to come down here. There's a spring here you want to hit because this will give you a free token. Get your dig. And then you can trick launch directly into fishing. And I'm going to jump cut fishing so that way you don't have to watch that. So I will see you all in a few in a sec. Oh, hey, son. All right. Instant for you. It was a nice long fishing trip for me. Here's the last fish. Although it's not really a fish, it's actually a spring. Either way, you're going to fish to the Yellow Spring, which will get you to 352 tokens. With these 352 tokens, you're going to go to the shop, buy five keys to go to 23, and then mash memory tokens. Would you like to try? And that is fishing. The next part of the run is pretty much the island tour. We're gonna get that dig. This key. Run through the woods to get this dig right over here. Go see Sage and do hacking and then do the first hacking. The way is clear. We must All right. the Chaos Emeralds with expediency. Now that we're done with uh, getting the hacking, we're going to then do the island tour to Red Emerald. Try to avoid hitting things, which I'm very bad at. Get this dig on the way. that dig get the emerald get this key get this gear
And if you can't get the little Air Jordan trick across, then just run around like that. It's not a big deal. Get this dig like this. Get the final key. Get the yellow emerald. Run over here to the left a little bit. More to the left to get this free token right here. Avert your gaze so you don't look at the tower. So he doesn't look at you. Gonna run to this spring right here to get up here quickly to get this dig. And then you're gonna take a little bit of a detour here if you're used to the 88 coin route. The 80 coin route, we go this way. To this crater right here. Actually, this crater right here. This first crater, my bad. So you're gonna come over here right past the emerald guy to this crater right here to get this dig. Come out right here. And then don't hit that. And then you go straight up the hill to get this dig right here at 4-6. And you're going to boost down here to 4-9 for another dig. And then we're going to go into 4-8. This blade is actually very fast, and it's tight, but it's actually very consistent. And even without having to do the mag dash, it's actually very possible to get uh, the 100% in one go. So my simple thing is on the very first pulley at the beginning, just do a jump to cancel the height of the pulley, and you'll get into the red ring immediately. Stomp into that. If you get the, if you get the rainbow ring, great. If not, you can boost jump. Get with this, jump onto this, get that, jump to cancel the height. Do not light speed dash here. It's actually better if you jump into the red ring because the light speed dash can sometimes miss. And just like that, 4 8 is done. As always with cyberspace, my, my final thing that I will just, as a friendly reminder, arcade mode exists practice. It is very easy to grind the cyberspace levels and get them consistent so you can do them in runs. Alright, so then with this, you're going to want to jump over the right side of the chair. The right side of the chair to go around this building and go this way. to make your way down here. I disappear that I am one short token. So that's what I said, you have to get a total of four strays and I didn't get four, str or five strays, I think. And I didn't get the fifth stray token. So I will probably just side loop one token. It's not a huge deal. Mag dash across. There we go, no big deal. Look away, so avert your eyes so Caterpillar doesn't see you. Into final hacking. Oh, so it is five strays, I guess. So then we will do final hacking, and then I will explain Supreme, the cons the fast strat for Supreme, if I if the game will let me have it, and then the and then the tutorial is done, and uh, there we go. But pretty much, if it's basically Oranos is as long as you stay calm and focused, you can finish the run consistently without too many issues. The hardest parts of the run are Chaos and Rhea.
Alright, so then you're gonna get your uh, White Emerald into Supreme. And the trick to Supreme is Cross Slash. You want to punch him once and Cross Slash, and then infinitely cancel Cross Slash by just pressing boost mid that. That is the trick to Supreme. Boost cancel, cancel into itself. There we go. Phase 2 is a little bit more annoying because you have to boost cancel it a little bit tighter because he can break out. If he does, just accept it and just focus on getting back to him if he does break out. But if you do it quick enough, usually he won't get out. And then when you see the health stop depleting, then you need to bail and go destroy one of the shields to get, into, to get the gun phase. All right, now he's done it and done, so I dodge away, and he did attack. I almost got a perfect one, though. I almost got a shield immediately. All right, so then I go after a shield. Destroy a shield. He punches you into gun. And the fight's pretty much done. And if he does give you a sliver attack, just hold parry, and then kill him. And there you go. The run is complete, except for the final QTEs. Thank you everyone for watching, I appreciate it. I will show the end of it just for clarity's sake. But that is the end of the tutorial. I want to thank everyone in the Sonic Sun Frontiers speedrunning community, who has ma massively broken and shattered this game to pieces. When it came to the fact that we thought sub two hours was an impressive achievement, now we're literally knocking on the door of one hour, which is just absurd to think. So many people have been a massive support and help in this in this endeavor, and I appreciate each and every one of one of you and the community. There's so there's so many names to name that I'm not going to try to name them all, lest I leave someone out. Just everyone that everyone that's helped, you know who you are. Thank you all massively. There's been just so many people. And if there's a, and if there's ever anything in this that needs to be updated in the videos or guides, I will be sure to do them. I will try to answer questions as I can. But hopefully it? this should just let anybody that wants to take take their runs to the next level from the other guides all and shoe all the advanced the tech show. that we have found. This is the best and fastest way to do this game currently. Uh, as of as of this recording, the current world record is a low 110 uh, in-game time by KD4. Uh, IGT, the current console record is still a 118.22 by myself by myself because I have yet to use this new stuff in a run to try to get a lower time, which is what I'm going to be going for soon. Also, we need more console runners. Ladies first. But uh, all the strats shown in this video will function uh, fine for console or, or or PC. Be careful, dear daughter. took your home world. He took your lives. Are you going to let him do it all over again? I need your help. We can end this. Please.
And there we go. Sonic Frontiers any percent. As again, I said before, thank you all for watching. And, uh, you know, if you liked it, leave a comment, like it, subscribe if you want. I just kind of make videos occasionally and upload speedruns to my channel. That's pretty much it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please follow my Twitch and hang out sometime. Otherwise, uh, catch everyone later. See ya.